This video was brought to you by Insights, a platform to review and coach from the comfort of your own PC. Simply upload, review, and start strategizing, all in real time. See why the pros are using Insights to organize and review their gameplay. Get your free account today. Meanwhile, Kareev is trying to battle back on these tanks. Everyone very low for Philadelphia. They're getting pushed back. Bounty and are taking control of the point on this King of the Hill style map mode. So will Flip, despite it all, looks beneficial there for Fusion, or it looks like they were in the lead, but they do decide to back off and reset for the fight. And once again, on the high ground, once again, staring each other down. Grabs thrown in, and this time going to try and get him to turn the wrong way. That's not going to happen. Sato has said he's a massive shatter, and Space is there to collect the kill. This is the Valiant battling back 60% and counting for them. A great play from Faith there to be able to shatter the opposing Reinhardt, keep his shield up and make sure that his team is not vulnerable to the self-destruct. Make sure that he himself stays alive and shield capable. Their way up, RCK leading the charge, stunned up immediately. Nearly taken out of the mech. Jump over to the side. Primal Rage gonna be in from Gamsu. Comes back in onto the high ground. No one really here from Dallas Fuel, so just gonna be jumping around, making sure he can get top back up. OG drops in the hammer. So so Doesn't really lead to any kills. Gamsu, however, will get sniped by Unko. Dallas Fuel onto the point. Grab coming through. Hope he's gonna be popped the transcendence, but Koma gets picked off. The headshots rolling in from Unko. He'll find another one as Youngjin gets eliminated. They're finally taking their way up. Can they finish this with time in the bank? It'd be absolutely huge for the fuel. It's a delay game here. Who makes Gamsu? Oh, they deny him entry to the point. They finally push for TM, locking him up with the grab, but Uncle has a transcendence. They have to stay on the point. They poop him off for a moment, and Dallas Fuel will finally be able to get it. Mono's got to be careful, and Buffering's going to find the kill on him, so we no longer have the main tank here for the New York XL. Vancouver Titans, they need to do it clean, and they are already on the point, setting up shop. New York now just trying to delay it to contest it. So long as there's one of the defense on the point, the Titans will not get to cap. Oh, the grab is going to lock them in the corner, and Bumper comes swinging through. You want it clean. This is about as clean as it gets. Oh, yeah, especially you're going to take out Libra, who had the rally. Two takes of permanent progress now picked up for the Titans. This is looking so good on their side. Who can touch? Jonak has to go trance. Has to go for the trance and the shatter as well. Bumper was hoping to be able to perhaps charge Jonak off the point, but New oh, York now they need to keep their cool. Oh, they've got a couple of kills, and that's what you need on the defense. Able to get one or two, Libero has gone over to the Doomfist to try to get that pick potential. Still just Jonak and Mecco alive, but they've got enough kills that the respawn should come in. And New York barely holds on. Playing the corners, looks like they're gonna try and take this high ground. They know Sinatra has the Graviton right now, Summon Sue nearly matching. They drop back down. Yeah, all right. Yeah, Buffer. Starting to swing a little bit here. Summon Sue, use that self shield. Rally use later for the shock. All right, that's okay. Grab comes in from the Titans. Shatter not getting a whole lot. Now the grab comes oh, in. Bumper, bumper in big trouble. Can they keep him alive? They can. Barely keeping him alive with the transcendence. Now the Titans need to strike back. They've got two ticks already. They've nearly got point A taken. All right, sound barrier, shock. Re-engaging both teams using that Lucio to get the extra shots. Bumper so low, but he's gonna go oh, with the Janu. The counter, self-destruct, super play. And they finally break through here. Oh, another grab? Get the on the Janu. Yeah, another grab from Sinatra. And are you kidding me? It's a two me? versus two, Sinatra. Sinatra still alive. Sinatra makes the play. He charges another grab in the fight. And they come back and that's it for Twilight. I mean, the Titans are wiped. With a massive pick for the shot of the Shanghai Dragons. You nearly have all six ultimates online. It's just gonna be Nano, Pulse, and that Deadeye for the sudden Spitfire. Nano now gonna go out on the Jester as he jumps up onto the high ground. Receives a little bit of damage to greet him. Prophet going the, the back lines. Just after Gamsu. Prophet's into the back line. Team Matrix chewing up a lot of the damage. He gets forced on the recall. Deadeye is out. Doesn't find any kills. It's off of a couple members. But oh man, the Wombo combo for Ocean. And for Ring both come in. Take down Ding out of the skies. Prophet around the back side. Picks up that Mega Pack to keep himself safe. In the meantime, Koma finds the res onto the far up. Puts him back into the fight. MB drops the bomb, but it lands behind the Lantern. So not really a great angle, and Prophet finds another kill in the back line. Is Yaki eliminated? Bionade now on the Gomsu. He'll get finished off. 
Thing is up top, he's looking for the finish, but Prophet is there to save Bird Ring. They keep him alive, and now we're down under a minute for the Shanghai Dragons. 36 seconds remaining as Prophet is just, you know, giving him some mind. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be a long fight. It will be drawn out. The Titans will be throwing everything now to see what can stick. Because overtime has begun. Johnny gets himself on the point here, but he's V-suited straight away. He had to put his body on the line. Release his mechanical one and keep this one going. This might actually not be so long at all. Both teams go for the trend. Set up the trick over. They self-destruct to try and take the Titans down, but no one is blown up by that one. Super, Earth Shadow, doesn't quite work out. Papa gets a better one. Trick over to Sinatra and knocked to the ground, but once again, there's no one there to follow up on the right heart stun. Axel is forced back. Sorbin Su also knocking on the door, and Johnny's forced to switch to the Wrecking Ball now for the extra mobility and staying power. Johnny there with the shield, all of the Shock are forced back, the Titans are now starting to capture this point, they've got one third, the Shock have to go now, super pushy forward, he got given a bubble from Sinatra to mitigate some of the damage, but Trico over, gets the man, a triple knock up on the backside there from Johnny, but he has to give up his life for it, super goes down, they're doing it's it. happening, the Vancouver Titans have managed to come back in this fight, the Graviton Surge, they need to get kills for now on the Shock, they need it so badly, and Violet finds himself too, that may be enough now, Bumper, Trying to cut through Sinatra, but he's getting so much healing right now from Violet. He'll be able to push back in now as the sound barrier is applied to the San Francisco Shock, and Huxel has a rally. A bit of extra healing for both teams now as this started to run. Both out of gas. Janu's taken down. There's a minefield up, and Super brings the hammer down. They've got 30 seconds. Well, this could go the Atlanta Reigns way. One missed, missed time trance, one forced trance from Jonek. Then suddenly Baby Bay's grab can turn everything around. We know what Pokepo is capable of once he gets that shatter. We just saw it happen on the defense. So this is anyone's game to take. It really, really is. But if New York lose B, that is a disaster. Oh, Mono looking for the flake shatter. Oh, he comes in. He fights both supports. They shut them down. Fantastic flank play coming out from Mono. Pokepo tries to drop the hammer. But it's not going to do anything. They do manage to tag in. FRD there on the point. Nearly snags a tick in a back cap. But they shut him down. OT will plummet away. All the ultimates for Atlanta mean nothing. Because Mono pulls off what a hell of a sneaky play and, with that Ryan. And what a risky play it was. If he gets but found. That could have been it. If he gets found, if he gets killed, and that shatter doesn't go off, they get beat 100%. What a risky play that Mono just took. Sandberry comes in, Void and Decay do not benefit from that one as they're not quite in position for it. But Hydration can do some work here. The Gladiators still need to retake control though, that means getting rid of fusions. Yes, you're gonna have some more players come back from the Uprising here, that'll be the Meteor Strike that comes in from Plus A. Doesn't get anything, Hydration is another kill, man. Sending a message and trying to win the round at the same time, that's multitasking. Hydration, it was a rocket punch across the point, just hoping that Kellex would show a bit longer, but Chaz was there to chase him down. And when you look with this, oh, Kellex, he got caught there, and he couldn't take action and recall even if he wanted to, because he was knocked into the air. The burst damage was good, and you had the five-man EMP on the Los Angeles Gladiators, but the numbers aren't favoring Boston. RCK doesn't seem to care, though. He is now boosted. He's here to do some work. Hydration goes down, another one for RCK, and he's looking to try and carry this one on his back. Translocates back to the point, and now the cavalry has arrived. Fusions is back on the point here. The Wrecking Ball is having an impact. Blase getting rid of Raw here. A very long drawn out fight, but it looks like the Boston Uprise scale to weather the storm. Decay goes down. Oh, they're gonna flip Chaz it. is close though. He can stall. He might just wait for a little bit and fade on and kick the round going, but he's blown up. <laughs> that round had everything, what and the round. Doomfist went ham. What a the round. Boston Uprising take map number one, and one of the longest overtimes on a oh. control point I've seen. Definitely possible here now. The Florida Mayhem have little to nothing to work with, just really a nano boost from Hagapun. Dante, it's up to him to start this one up. It's up to him to set the wheels in motion for a map five. He needs an EMP, but he's holding on to it. Sire player, press it down. Five players caught out by that one. A blinded grenade on the one. Fate, he can't do anything. Fate hacked again. He can't even play the game. Dante shuts him down entirely. And our Fate is missing. Sire player out of position, surrounded by Houston Outlaws. They refuse to go down! Zephyr returning back to the point now. He gets a body grenade and a hack and everything is coming out. They're giving it everything. The Outlaws, they just wanted more! Zephyr desuited. Chris trying to get back rally on the spawn. spawn. Fade in trouble now. Sire player returns with a rally, but Fade is hacked. He's pushed back. Soundberry even for the Florida Mayhem. Zephyr returns on the fast here. BQB gets rid of Jake. Rumor trying to stay up and shield Raucus on that backside. He needs the hit. Oh! The Bastion! Surely not! What? This is where it ends! 
Zephyr back in towards turret mode now. Boink is struggling. Oh, they have and brought the house crashing down. It's, it's just Boink. Boink. He's trying to hold on. Dante returns with the EMP and Boink gets the sound barrier. It's two versus three right now, but BQB falls. Dante finds the kill. Oh. Boink is down. <laughs> Zephyr sitting in the back corner. Fade is very low and Jake returns on the Doom Fist now. He's got to be out of time. Oh. But he's not no. I can't oh, believe man. it. I cannot believe what I've just seen. Oh, what? The Bastion Switch! Down onto the low ground. Jester holding onto a shatter of his own, just waiting for a golden opportunity to try to set up for it. The longer this fight goes, the more likely it is that Sibyobi gets the that EMP online. The grab's ready. Grab's now here from Profit. Lobs it in. Catches him right here on the front. Anomal gonna be taken down instantly. Mono trying to stay alive. Keep him sustained. The shatter dropped in. Unable to find anything for the side of London. It's been fire, but they still have the man advantage. But how long will that last? I do not know. Grab comes in. The EMP on top. Three kills instantly come forward as Fury gets popped out of the back. And YXL, they want the flip. It's not over for London yet. It's not over. It's getting pretty damn close to buying a bit more time, but they're already at OT. Tools Luke comes in, 70% on the board for NYXL. They have. Tools they have are the Nano Boost and the Sound Barrier. They're not going to have them right away. They're going to have to be aggressive. They're going to have to speed boost in and build the last part of those, and then they can win the fight that way. In the longer fight, that's their only shot here. Fury might get a self-destruct in a on fight too. They but have I mean, to block it. They have to block the Shatter, but this is going to be a fight that's won by Quartermain and Bedoshin if they're to win it and bring us to a third round. They've got one shot at this and one alone. It has to be a slow fight. They've got 10 seconds. Fire Strike goes through. Nano about to be online for Bidoshin. Quartermain is 11% off. 99% the 99. The Shatter going for it. Doesn't find anything. The block comes in. A big whip coming through the back cap. About to arrive for the London Spitfire. Beat's been used. Jester takes a nap, wakes back up, and is straight back into the action. Rally out now for Libero. Builds that one up. Crap. Online for Nene. Getting ready to come through. See how much they've been tracking. 90 this block. energy. Fury, no he's taking it. a nap. He can't get that team matrix out. Now is going to be taken down. Murdering Jester. All going to be wiped off the map. Profit dies with a grab available. Fury has to use a self destruct. But it seems like this is how it all ends for the London Spitfire. They will not be going to a third and final round of Ilios. The flip will come back in to NYXL's favor. The OT will burn away. And they will close it out on their day here at the Blizzard Arena. The fans on their feet. A damn close series, but they get it 3 to 2 in the end. It was a close.